All right, let's break this down. Women don't listen to men when it comes to what we find attractive. That is because men are emotional. So the thing about women is women know that women are attractive because they're women. Hey, beautiful people. I also in today. It's your favorite again again. My name is David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. You know when men say they find this particular woman attractive, but then they end up with another type of woman. Or they say they find this kind of kind of woman attractive. They secure the woman, but then they still go out there to look for the ones that they might not find attractive or they say they don't want. If that makes sense. I have these interesting videos to share with you of the man the man's perspective and also the woman's opinion. So I'm going to play the full video for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. But then I'd like to know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section while you watch. All right, let's break this down. Women don't listen to men when it comes to what we find attractive. That is because men are emotional. So what you find attractive, the next guy is going to tell you something that is completely different what you actually choose to pursue is it's not going to be that and when your situation changes such as financially uh how you feel the, the direction of the wind then your choice of woman changes just like that too they say oh i want a natural woman no weaves no uh, makeup all this other shit. but as soon as they get some money all of their wives look the same all of their girlfriends look the same. As soon as you get some money, first one you got is what you said you didn't want. The best advice I've gotten about attracting women has been from men. Women give terrible advice. You're probably single. And you can tell when a man listens to men, and you can tell when a man listens to women. The type of women that men have when they listen to other men, she's usually younger, usually uh, an imbalance of resources. Um, and it's usually with a woman who does not know any better and eventually she wakes up and leaves them when men listen to other women about what women want that's when they usually get everything that men want men listening to men is what told them that men are logical when the truth is men are emotional you cannot make it make sense logically to a logical woman women are generally more logical you cannot use logic as to why a woman should choose you because then what do you do when you use logic you turn it into everything that you can provide everything that you can do you become a doing machine and, and, and a provider of resources and then you get upset when that is what she sees you as but that is what you described yourself as does that make any logical sense no it does not because you are not logical men are emotional no woman don't get no man in her life because it makes sense she gets a man in her life because she feels you the power that men have when it comes to the emotional shit i'm just i'm just I'm, let me just let me just give y'all some free game because yeah the power that women have is they are logical the power that men have is that they are emotional and when i say that men have an unfair advantage is just it is that is true because a, a a a man has the power to make a woman feel him completely and emotion will overpower logic and reason. There are men out here that could make you feel like, I don't give a fuck, I want this nigga to fuck up my life, and I don't care, I don't care. Think about Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown had kids, kids, baby mamas. Whitney Houston was America's sweetheart, and she was loyal to that man for over 20 years, and it was not the drugs, it was him. He was passionate, explosive, emotional. He got her to feel him. That's why people don't have sympathy for men, because Unfortunately, because fortunately for men, all of the problems in a man's life are, they're self-initiated. You don't even realize that you need to get your shit recalibrated. You're not even thinking correctly. You thinking that you're this logical being, but you're not. Once you get in tune with your emotional self and you can connect on an emotional level, that is when you get everything that you want. Trying to connect to someone logically, that is why they say, oh, well, he was boring. Oh, I need I need excitement. These are code words for there was no emotional connection. There was nothing there. I did not feel him. You can get with somebody that makes sense logically on paper and they will be the biggest bore of your life. They won't do shit for you. Y'all don't understand this. They have to feel you. And men have the power to do that. Only men have the power to do that. Like, 
to make a woman abandon her complete sense of self. And y'all see it all the time. Y'all see it all the time. Y'all say, well, oh, all girls only like thugs. Or they only like this type of guy. They only like bad guys. No, 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 no. They were raised by single mothers. These guys know women. They they were in the nail salon when they were little boys, getting watching their mama get her fucking nails done. They grew up going to the damn beauty supply store with their mom when she was ordering her hair and her stuff. They know how to connect emotionally. Most of them niggas ain't even hard like that. It is not. You heard King Von, like, King Von very, was very spicy, very spicy. But I get why girls liked him. He was able to make you feel him so good that you forgot that this nigga just called you a bitch and a hoe. Most of y'all don't realize that you're not getting what you want because y'all feel bad about yourself. It don't make sense to her because you're not sensible. Men have the power of emotions. When a man cries, every woman cries. You can easily transfer your emotions onto her. She cannot do the same to you. So everything you don't like about yourself, she feel that too. Women don't listen to men when it comes to what we find attractive. That is because men are emotional. So I just wanted to add a woman's perspective on this. And after hearing the reasons given, I would like to say that for the women who don't care what men find attractive, the reason why those women don't care is because even when a man finds the woman to which he is attracted, he secures that woman, he's still going to remain available to other women. There's no benefit to being attractive to men if you are going to attract them, but still not have any security from being attractive to them. This is what women know about men. Women know that all women under the right circumstances can get any man. If a man likes women, any woman can get a man. Now, there might be certain circumstances under which that woman would get that man. There might be certain functions for which that woman would get that man. There are some men who won't be seen with certain women that they perform other actions with in private. So the thing about women is women know that women are attractive because they're women. <laughs> I've had short hair, long hair, natural hair, wigs, weaves, lashes, nails, natural it really doesn't matter because in every state that i was whether i was educated acting ignorant in the club in the church poor homeless i've never been homeless but if i was i'd still have a man there's nothing that any woman can do be or have and not still be able to get a man we watch 600 pound life and there are women on there with a man. To quote my grandmother, as I have so many times in so many other TikToks, baby, you can get a man when you can't even get a loaf of bread. A man can have the woman of his dreams. The quintessential feminine, attractive woman and still cheat. We see Holly Berry be cheating on, Cassie. You know, the, the list of women who have had different men and still those men were unfaithful is limitless. And I know that every single solitary woman in the history of the earth that ever chose to be in a relationship with a man and then subsequently got cheated on chose wrong. I know that millions of women across space-time continuum have all simultaneously chosen the wrong man. I understand that. However, I also know that all of the men who have chosen, been in relationship with, and married the women that were they were attracted to, <laughs> who have cheated on them, the attraction didn't change or stop that. So for women, there's just no reward in tailoring their lives, their looks, their style, their fashion, their preferences, who they are as people, where they live, where they go to school. Just taking everything about being able to live a free life 
and subject themselves to what any number of men that they could encounter with and come in contact with one and a woman. It's just too difficult. It's just too hard of a prospect to try to be simultaneously attractive to all men in the hopes of finding one, which is the beauty of femininity. As a woman, you get to show up however you like, however you feel comfortable, and then attract the man who is attracted to that version of who you are i know it's a novel concept to think that you would actually attract a better relationship by being authentically who you are but it's something that men might want to think about something they might want to try exactly what is the point of trying to stay attracted to a man and at the end of the day just to go out there to be available for other women what is the point trying to change your lifestyle trying to change the way you look but probably you're a kind of girl that you like to wear weeds because your man tell you oh no i i love your natural hair i don't like when you put on wigs or i don't want you to wear so, so clothes just to stay attracted to him not because you actually don't like it or you actually like it but then they still go out there to be available for the for the things that they tell you they don't like. You see, men tell their wives that uh, this clothes is too short, this clothes is too this, da da da. Don't go out there like that. But when they go out there to you know be with their friends or to hang out or be available, they go out to speak to the kind of things that they condemn in their homes. What they do, they say they don't like. What they say that they are not attracted to. They go out there to, you know, that's, those are the kind of women that they are mostly attracted, they are mostly attracted to. And the first black man was saying that um, a, a man will stay loyal to you if he wants to be loyal to you or not because you make him loyal to you. He can do whatever he chooses to do if he wants to, not because you make him. Just because his explanation was men are emotional men are emotional but my one is men are emotional but most of them are not emotionally intelligent so i personally i'm not going to believe what a man a man says oh this is what i find attractive this is what i don't find attractive because they change their mind a lot and they tell you this is what they want but they end up being with someone else or they secure what they want but they still go and be available for the ones that they say they don't want so Anyways, I really like to know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I really love to hear your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. I thank you all so much for sticking around to this point, and I will see you all in my next video.